Welcome everybody to today's video. I'm Paul and we're going to go through the unboxing of the V145. Once you cut the tape open, you will discover inside a small piece of cardboard. So you can just remove that. You will find that there is a handle right on the opening towards you. All we're going to do is going to grab this handle and we're going to hold onto the top and pull it up the side. Once you've removed the DE1 from the box, don't throw it away just yet. We recommend you to flatten the box itself by cutting the tape at the bottom and storing it away just in case you ever need to send the machine back to us either for repair or maybe just for a return. The box itself will actually protect the flight case from any knocks or damage that it may experience during travel. Let's get this packaging off. So I'm just gonna flip it up and then just gently ease this off like so. This is the new V2 flight case. It will come with the wheels already detached, but they will be inside the box itself. Doesn't matter which side you open it from because it's now hinged. So now that we've got it open, we're gonna get the D1 out along with its accessories. Um, but first I'm gonna cover the table just to protect the D1 when I'm bringing it out. Is the water tank with the wheels also included and you can choose to put them on if you'd like this is the drip tray it's just got an elastic band on there just to keep the cover on top for doing travel and of course we have our tablet with the tablet stand already attached and just next to it is the power cable for the tablet it's also included a screwdriver and the power cable that we will need to power the machine if you have any other accessories it can be installed in here too but for further details on the flight case you can check out the video dedicated to the flight case itself link below let's make some more room get rid of the suitcase put it to one side and start putting the v1 all together so now that we've got everything out of the box, um, some of you may be thinking there's no portafilter filter or basket that is, should be included with the machine. You'll find that in this compartment just underneath the DU1 contains your portafilter, filter, your blind basket, and also your group head handle. So now that we've got everything out of the packaging, you can have the option of taking other things that are included in your workflow in terms of tools. In this space here, you can fit in a decent funnel. On top of that, you can also fit in a basket. Just above your blind portafilter, filter, you can put the puck rake along with its packaging just above. That will keep everything nice and tidy along with your travels. Let's get everything else set up on the D1. We've got the handles installed. It's time to fill up the water tank. Remove the detachable wheels from the water tank. Just use the slits on the slide, ease it out. And this can go back into your suitcase. Now it's time to fill the water tank. Once it's filled, just remember to have the handle facing towards you so you can pull the water tank out. Now to fully implement the water tank, we do need to take the cover from the back panel, take the elastic band off the lever, and we just need to lift that lever up to slide the water tank in and then gently. Now we're gonna put the drip tray in its little position just on top of the leg bases for the tablet, which just goes in between this little slit just above the group head here. And you can just slide it in like so. Now it's just time for the power cables. So we have a little USB-C here on the right hand side of the tablet and a USB port just underneath it right here. Just make sure the line is good. Time to remove all the protective covers from the machine and turn it on. Now it's just time for this power cable. This is the AC power button. This is what it looks like when it's switched on. This is off. We need to make sure this is on. Thread the power cable through the leg base and ensure it is fully seated. Now we can flip on the main switch. So once that's in, you just put the back panel on. On the GAC, we should see the yellow light begin to appear. This symbolizes the startup sequence. You should also see the AC power illuminating on and off as it tests. Once the lights turn red on the GAC, we can turn the tablet on, open the app and wait for the app to connect. Once the red lights have finished the revolution on the GHC, the DE1 has finished the heating cycle. 
Now we just have to wait for the Ready Espresso to appear on the app and the D1 is ready. So now that we've set the D1 up, we've taken the protective covering off, all that's left is to start extracting.